today let's learn the bills receivable and the bills payable book under the topic special purpose books we have already seen the other kinds of special purpose books like cash book purchase book sales books purchase return and sales return books in my previous videos bills receivable book is basically for the bills which have been received right the bill of exchanges that has been received right uh, you have already done the lesson bill of exchange in class 11 and you should be familiar with what are bill of exchange and what is a bill receivable and what is a bills payable right i'll just explain uh, the thing in brief right when purchases are uh, made in cash then it goes into the cash book same way when sales are made in cash it goes into the cash book and we have also seen the purchases book and sales book which is basically for credit purchases and credit sales now most of the purchases are on credit or most of the sales are on credit in a firm normally when we sell goods on credit right we would like to have a written commitment from the purchaser from the person who has to pay us from the buyer of the goods right as to when he will pay the money like i say the bill of exchange is drawn for three months right so it's a written commitment that after three months he will pay the amount to the firm right and this kind of a document also enables the holder of the bill to get it discounted from the bank so that he can get money quickly he, he need not wait for those three four months so these are the things you did in class 11 about bill of exchange right now basically here we will be seeing how to make the bills receivable book right so when you sell when the firm sells something right in on credit something means goods on credit right okay they accept i mean like um, the the bill of exchange is prepared by the seller of the goods and it is accepted by the purchaser of the goods right okay hmm. <clears throat> so the seller of the goods has the bills receivable and the purchaser of the goods for him it is bills payable right okay so let's see this bills receivable first of all So basically this uh, bills receivable is a form of uh, written communication from the purchaser of the goods. to the seller of the good right which contains a commitment as to the payment date right payment date and amount fine okay. now let's first of all see what is the format of this bills receivable book You should remember that a bill of exchange is prepared by the seller of the goods whereas there is something called a promissory note also the promissory note is prepared by the purchaser of the goods right so we are now uh, going to look at the format of the bills receivable book first of all you have the serial number I'll first draw the format here.
okay these are the columns now let's see what are these columns for the first one is serial number the second one is date of receipt the third one is the name of acceptor right then you have date of uh, bill drawn right term of the bill right then you have the date of maturity of the bill where payable and uh, one column i missed out here one minute i'll remove the serial number column instead of that i'll write before that date of receipt is the second one right date of receipt and then you have from whom received from whom received right name of acceptor bill date of bill drawn term date of maturity where payable amount and then how disposed these are the columns right the first column is the serial number now i'll take up a small uh, question so that we can make some entries in this uh, format right let's say uh, june 2013 let's put the dates here june 1st right since this is a bill receivable uh, you'll have this drawn on the bills receivable basically the seller of the goods draws the bill right and it is accepted by the purchaser of the goods right so here he is going to draw the bill drawn on amit a bill of exchange at uh, let's say 3 months which was accepted and returned by him on 1st june 2014 and uh, the amount of the bill is let's say 150000 right now one more uh, let's take up june 20th right drawn on sham a bill of exchange at 2 months which was accepted by him on that date and the amount of the bill is rupees 50000 okay hmm. fine these are the two uh, transactions that we will be putting in our posting in our uh, bill receivable book now let's see here this is the first serial number that is there one two like that now the first one date of receipt right date of receipt is there we here we have this uh, date of bill drawn what has been given here sorry what has been given here is the date of bill drawn june 1st and it is uh, received on that date itself returned by him on 1st june 2014 so you can put that date also i'll put here let's put this date itself because it was received on that date only june 1st from whom received that is bill this bill was accepted this bill was accepted by amit right and he returned the bill right this bill was drawn on amit 
and it was accepted and returned by him so from whom received you will write the name as amit right name of the acceptor is also amit right date of bill drawn is also june 1st right term of the bill is 3 months right date of maturity now date of maturity is starting from june 1st 3 months and then a grace of 3 days right so it will be june july august september right so september 4th that will be the date of maturity right where payable nothing is mentioned so will not write anything there and the amount is 1 lakh 50000 fine next one we have june 20th again in this uh, transaction also i had written drawn on sham a bill of exchange at two months which was accepted by him on that date and uh, it's not specifically written uh, here that it is returned by him on that date Uh, so we assume that it is returned by him on that date right so here the date of receipt will be june 20th and uh, from whom received it is sham and the acceptor of the bill is also sham because the bill is drawn on him he has to accept the bill right date of bill drawn is june 20th this is 2 months right so here you have July twentieth, August twentieth, right? August twentieth, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, right? So here you will have August twenty third as the maturity date, right? <clears throat> the amount is 50000 right so these two transaction june 1st and june 20th this is how we will put it in the bills receivable book right now after that if the if they are the only two transactions i'll just total this right here this is uh, 1 lakh 50000 plus 50000 is 2 lakhs right and then from this bills receivable book we have to do a ledger posting now i'll show you here how to do a ledger posting okay first of all you will make the bills receivable account the total of the bills receivable account you have already made here this is uh, 1 lakh 2 lakhs here right so bills receivable is basically uh, an asset right so it will have a debit balance so here you will have on the debit side right of the bills receivable account Two thousand thirteen at the end of uh, June. Let's say we are making it for one month, right? So June thirtieth, he will write two sundries as per uh, bills receivable book, right? As per bills receivable book. Fine. So here you will write that amount two lakh, right? That's it for the bills receivable ac account. other transactions whatever is there can come here but the balance is transferred from there that's it right okay hmm. and for the uh, debtors we have two debtors here amit account and uh, sham account right in both their accounts <clears throat> on the credit side you will write by bills receivable account for amit it was 1 lakh 50000 rupees right and for sham it was again by bills receivable account 50000 right only the bills which have been drawn and accepted by the purchaser 
that will be entered into the bill's receivable account. Any other thing like discounting with the bank or endorsing the bill to a creditor or anything like that, those things will not be shown in the bill's receivable book. So bill's receivable book basically shows when the bill is drawn and who has accepted the bill, what is the term of the bill, all these things, right? Now supposing uh, this uh, a bill is drawn and the uh, drawer of the bill, right, he endorses it in favor of someone else, right? So that will come in the general ledger. Sorry, that will come in the journal, journal proper. That will come in the journal proper. So that will not come here, right? Okay. Hmm. So supposing uh, like in this case itself, let's say, drawn on sham a bill of exchange at two months which was accepted by him on that day now supposing this bill is endorsed in favor of uh, in favor of sujit right now here we will write something like this sujit account debit two bills receivable account this will come in the journal proper Right? We will be looking at journal proper in our later sessions. Right? Sujit account debit to bills receivable account. This 50,000 will come like this. Right? So whatever is your entry, like you know these entries, these entries you have done in class 11 for endorsement, for uh, discounting of bills and all. So the other things that will be shown in the journal proper, but only the entries relating to the drawing of the bill and the accepting of the bill that is what comes in the bills so bills receivable book right so that's all you have to learn in bills receivable book so with that i'll end this session uh, for a bills receivable book in my next uh, session we will take up the bills payable book bye